Disappointments, we've all experienced it. We've all been the disappointment once in our lives. But one thing I really do not like is disappointing products. I obviously like skincare. I will spend a little bit more for a nice product. <laughs> hello, hello, Laneige. I mean, it's not that expensive, but it's expensive for me as a non-working person. But what I really, really hate is when a product doesn't work and therefore I don't get to use it up and therefore I just drowned, drowned money, threw money down the drain, honey. I'm gonna show you guys the products that have heavily disappointed me and yes, some of them are holy grail products here on the YouTube sphere, on the internet sphere, but I'm not afraid to tell you guys my experience with that product. I got my pouch of disappointment here and I'm just gonna reach in and let's start with a product that basically inspired me to do this video. And it is this product, the Aquel Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toner. Now this product isn't so popular. I think, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But it did get a lot of praise from Soko Glam, or at least the people on Soko Glam recommended it. It has 600 plus reviews and it got four and a half stars. So I was really, really expecting a lot from this product. And basically its main selling point is that it's gonna give you that honey skin and that extra, you know, cleansing factor after you wash your face. But let me tell you, no. It does leave your face really dewy, but if you don't put this on like right after you wash your face, I found that I'm just like an oil slick for the rest of the day. It does not sink in. It's just more of like a layer on top, which is terrible if you spend your day just, you know, outside in the humid Philippines weather. But even when I do it right, like after I wash my face, get the cotton pad and go shoop, 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 on my face, it still doesn't really give me anything, anything. This is probably one of the most disappointing products I bought in my life, just because the hype was so high. And then the delivery is just, so what I'm recommending is this product and yes, it's a sample because I've finished up the entire bottle and have just, you know, scoured through my little collection of samples and have just been using <laughs> these versions. But this is the last one. After this, I will repurchase this product and it is the Benton Aloe BHA Skin Toner. This product will not only give you that supple glowy skin you wanted from the aloe and the snail secretion that's in there. Yes, it's got those really powerful ingredients, but it's gonna do it in a very light way It's actually gonna sink into your skin But it's also gonna help with your acne because of the salicylic acid in it And you know me since I am an acne prone person. I really really appreciate when products sneak in that That salicylic acid in there because that's a good stuff. The next product I want to talk about is this one This the Innisfree Jeju Volcanic Color Clay Mask specifically the green one. So the green one is a Sika version. Sika version? Kika version? C-I-C-A version. And it's the one that's concentrated on sebum control and Sika care. And I looked it up, it's basically for acne. And this one, just as an anecdote, is still in the box because after the second time I use it, I was just like, nope, nope, mm-mm. For some reason, it's just like off the mark. Not only did it not do anything, it also kind of gave me some acne, you know, sprouting up in there in my face, which is a no-no, the biggest no-no, I think, when it comes to acne care products. It's like, you have one job. Alternatively, what I will recommend is just the original Innisfree Jeju Volcanic clay mask. I tried it out with a sample and it was really good. Sometimes I feel like with the beauty industry, if one thing works, they just want to milk it. So they make more products like this one. Or if you're not in an Innisfree store, go ahead and pop right into Face Shop because their Jeju Volcanic Lava Pore Clay Mask is really good. This is my second pot and it hasn't disappointed. It helps, you know, clear out my pores and it helps heal my acne and prevent it from, you know, happening. And I say that because when I use this, the next time I get my period, it 
it won't be like an explosion in my face so that's really good the next product is another heavily hyped up product it's actually in the holy grail level of korean skincare and that is the cosrx i'm sorry cosrx master acne patch acne master patch whatever it is i bought it i had it and then weeks after using it you know trying to make it work the duende in my house just decided to you know take it away from me and now I can't even find it so I tried it with big acne I tried it with small acne but every time I used it it just either made my pimple worse or did nothing when it made it worse it would just like be bloody I don't know did you guys experience it there was just blood after I removed it and it was like not good I feel like I shouldn't have done it <laughs> or it would have been better off if I just didn't put it on my skin anymore I've also tried putting it on for a long period of time for a short period of time and all those trials nothing was achieved actually damage was achieved so alternatively for the small percentage of people who have tried this product and have also been disappointed I have another Causer X recommendation for you and that is hello the Centella blemish cream so this product is not as popular as the master patch but hey People are different. Different things work for different people and if that one didn't work for you, this one might because it did for me. And it really just helps with healing my acne in a gentle way wherein, you know, it doesn't have to bleed. And the last product I have in this pouch is this one. This is the Skin Potions Apple Honey Soap. And I made a video about this one and it's really like, mm, to me, number one, it's in a bar soap formula and I guess I just don't like bar soaps a lot of you guys have said that I could like cut this up to make it more hygienic but like bitch if I gotta cut a soap up after buying it it should just come cut you know what I'm saying but the real reason why I'm disappointed with this is because it didn't really do anything for my acne and this soap is very like straightforward in calling itself an anti-acne soap because of the apple cider vinegar and the honey so I've stopped using this right after I made that video because as I said it's not that astounding and I've started to use this on my body which is good I mean I don't have um chest knee chest knee or like back knee right now so maybe that's a good sign but alternatively what I can recommend as an anti-acne cleanser is my Causer X salicylic acid gentle cleanser what's it called almost there it's the salicylic acid daily gentle cleanser and this one really works for your acne it has 0.5 percent salicylic acid similar to the benton one and i guess when it comes to skincare it just boils down into the ingredients apple cider vinegar versus salicylic acid salicylic acid really takes the cake when it comes to anti-acne products and it's really inexpensive and very hygienic and that's it from me today if you guys have any disappointing products or actually if you guys like any of the disappointing products I talked about today or the ones I recommended you can go and comment down below as I said before different people have different preferences so I mean I'm sure somebody's gonna find the information you put down there very helpful <laughs>